the wind, it can slide a little bit because it was cut. I had it first and put loose on there and it was popping off, so I actually tightened it. Noise. About to do a YouTube video. Rob's testing a, a sample. We made us an activation. Now he's, look at this thing. He made it. All right, guys, we're going to do an activation. Um, well, I've already activated with Eddie over here and uh, KO4 NLL, but uh, we want to see if this thing will pota. This is my 15 meter uh, base loaded vertical. And so we're going to find us a spot around 2 1 dot 0. Five zero, and we're gonna see if this thing's gonna tune. So, got all kinds of toys sitting out here. Will it tune? Is the question. So, um, I cut my own counterpoise, and we're gonna find out. So, here's the video. Oh, it does tune. I probably need to tune it while I'm touching the key. We got a one-to-one. -one. Now, it is super, super duper windy out here. Um, we're expecting some bad weather here. So there's like 15 mile an hour gusts. Um, we'll just use a few things to hold that thing down. All right. Let me turn the monitor back up for this thing. Why won't you let me adjust them? Oh, because I'm in friggin' upper side band. That, that'll make a difference. There's something popping. how I like my side tone. All right, so we are going to go spot on the POTA website. If I can find the, the tab that I have open for that. Good news is we're at Reed Bingham State Park and 21, I'm going to be at 21.050. Kilo 21.95, CW. Testing a home brew mini vertical. We are now spotted, I believe. So, we're going to use the CQ button. message until somebody comes in so I can tell that there's a lot of RF coming back so it really depends on where I put my hands so the SWR is going to be high whether I'm touching the key or not.
So it definitely relies on capacitance from your body, which is not good. Oh yeah, she gets hot, baby. That's a bad thing. That's too big. I don't have enough coax to fit through it. <laughs> oh, I got my coax. I do have another piece of coax that has... Oh, the toroid on it. Which could be a good test. It's in the key. Whoops. I just won't touch those. How about that? <laughs> contact on it it isn't quite vertical though it's kind of leaning that way since we had to move it <laughs> do that I think I am going to put this on the narrow mode because I've got the power. I've never done 15 meters on this thing, I don't think. Might be a little late in the day, but maybe gray line in it. Seems awful quiet, but 20 sounded quiet on the random wire, so. Oh, that makes a huge difference moving that out of the way. supposed to be like probably four you may try your connector out and see what happens with a little wrap of coax around it because it is really short in comparison to the other We are going to swap cables. Um, verticals do tend to do this, so um, really any antenna could have uh, RF coming back into your shack. It'll bite you. All right, let's. Uh, Uh-huh, that made a huge difference right there. Sure, that's a steak. Okay, there's steak too, buddy. Oh, look at there. Let's see. That's not steak. Little toroid. Toroid action for the win. And that brings the SWR down. Thanks, bud. Did you mean to punch me? 
No, I shot a thumbs up. Uh -oh. <laughs> so RF burn, even at five watts, is serious. Oh, speaking of serious business, while this thing's calling CQ, this is from Mike, Kilo Echo 4 Papa Tango X-Ray. That's what happens when you leave your stuff out in the rain for a month. Kind of rusted. Kind of feel bad for it. It's an expensive knife. Someone's going to call you back at the loose opportunity. I wouldn't mind. <laughs> <laughs> told me I could give it to you or not or make you weigh it like my stickers from HRAG. There was a noise. I'll let you finish that. We can wait. We got a bite on the fishing lure. <laughs> we had a tuner. We had a tuner. We'll give it the long. Let's put them together and see what they do. He inspired me to get my 3D printer out and start printing stuff. That's where this came from. This is Michigan plastic. <laughs> What's that? I don't know. Looks like a, a pedestal all right, for a Alright, PP man, whose is whose? He said yours is the bigger one. Probably the rail length. Yep. I wish these guys would send instructions on how to put this crap together. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's got he a video. He sent us an instructional video. <laughs> I'm just picking. Yeah, my 3D printer must. We talked about it the other day. He's got his like really good and set up that things actually fit together whereas when I do things man it does not come out right away yes. yeah his his doesn't have the fat bottom we're gonna have to show the viewers that that's nice hey here's the deal hey, look, look, look. we may not make a over. contact on my my antenna of course it's I've, I've never really had good luck on 15 meters. Like, it's probably just me. He did warn me that I wouldn't be able to use the, um, the built-in key with mine. I don't have that problem. <laughs> because you don't use CW in the field yet. Yes, I do. Not to call CQ. Don't tell me. So the question is, what is this? Is this just a test print? I think it's a lock of some sort. Was it attached to yours or to mine? It was free floating. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> it's pee pee, whatever it is. Let's uh let's go ten watts and just see. Maybe it's it's the fact that it's Friday. Let's just kill the battery. Well, it won't pot 
Florida so far and have had no luck. But the, the second question is, what's your antenna hooked up to? It'll tune, right? Do a side-by-side -side comparison. I could hook up to that one after I give this one a, a few more minutes and see. Yeah, you're welcome. Oh, he, he already put the rubber feet on it. Otherwise, this thing would slide all over the place because, I mean, this plastic is printed. It's slick. Man, I could yank that thing off the table. You do a simple little, even if you, it, it ain't coming off, but if you put a little rubber band, this thing will be full. I want to know what this is for. You just need a 3D printed mic stand. Right? <laughs> a little teeny tiny boom mic. <laughs> <laughs> to hold your little <laughs> might as well pop those oh that's lame dude I bet I can use the key <laughs> probably, probably gonna get the crabs that bad of me doing this. No. Like a taser. <laughs> yeah. Kids bad. Just ten. What is that on the top? This says everything. That's the foot that holds it holds it up when it sits on the desk the only thing is I think the angle constructive criticism it would be better at that angle because then the screen doesn't dim out on you when you look at it cross like that it is nice though but your screen's different than mine too mine's uh, the kx2 is LCD that one is a crystal. This is not crystal. Straight up flat screen TV. <laughs> it's a nice screen. Hey, we could bump it down to like 0 0.0 watts and fart to park each other at least. And then I could say it'll poda from five feet away. Well, that's. <laughs> You're overloading it. Well, this is crazy talk, man. I need to try this earlier in the day, probably. Well, I mean, pass or fail, I'm gonna upload a video. Kicks and giggles. Yeah, part to part me first. I'll turn my power down if you need me to. I'll go down to 1.1 watt if you want me to. Oh, I can use my attenuator. I don't have that for us. Oh, I gotta figure out where you put the key in this thing. It says key. I've used it before. Alright, we're gonna park to park each other from, from a few feet away just just to just to see what happens. I'm gonna crank the power down to zero. I wish that you could type the power in because I'm gonna go zero watts, buddy. Mine's fast. I'm still turning. There we go. Zero watts. I can't go to zero. I got point. I can. And I'm going to use the uh, number four is the RF. Did you just tune? I will tune. Oh, that's that's just my electronics making weird noises. You're on 10.127. <laughs> no wonder I didn't hear it come through. Oh. I'm on 21.050. When it was overloading, I killed it back real fast. 
2105. I'm going to be ready to hit the uh, RF gain and turn it down some more if it if it's I got my tune right now. Okay. <laughs> Boy, howdy. Somebody else is there. Well, I've been calling CQ. That's weird. I need to go see. Let me go back to 10 watts. Maybe, maybe somebody. Uh, power down. Yeah, power down real quick. Somebody could be blind calling. zero watts. Let me know when you're ready. I have to start a computer so it takes a second. Is it started? Yeah, but it takes a minute because it's just like a computer turning on. Somebody's calling CQ. Go to 20.050.5. Still thinks that someone turned the power for some reason. 20.050.5. Seriously, is somebody there too? out with zero <clears throat> so it does put out a little bit probably need to pick a better day because even that person there could have been people that were calling I need to mark myself QRT oh no no no, no. I was going to use your antenna after this yeah we got to attenuate that Zero five zero. Oh, I thought that's where somebody was calling CQ. That's your radio. Thank you. It only did it when you went past that point. It is your internal oscillator when you pass by me. I don't know what that is, but okay. All right, now go to the next decimal point put a point five yeah I'm gonna make you do things <laughs> you got to change uh, your variable rate somehow I don't know how his radio works he's on a Shiego or a Ziegu or Shigo there you go it was on fast okay here we go you ready Got your volume on?
<laughs> it, it sounds kind of like aliens <laughs> all right so let's switch out to your antenna and see if it's the band or if it's the antenna so it will tune that's that's the one thing i've noticed about this antenna and it at will... certain ranges it will pull that. <laughs> yeah, that is correct <laughs> at certain distances it'll do the trick but unfortunately nobody returned my call I had to enlist, make sure you log it. All right, so this table's pretty cool and all, but I gotta use my key, so I'm gonna put that over there. Now, I was at five watts, so I'm gonna go back to five watts to give it the equal test. Let's tune. Let's reset all this because the RF was turned down. The attenuator was on. Good. It's really not fair to compare this to a wire that's 28 feet when it itself is only like three feet tall though. 31 feet. Ooh, 31 feet. I sit corrected. So tonight we're having, uh, I got me a boneless ribeye steak, $21.80. Uh, Pre-cooked weights, one pound and 1.8 ounces. And then my little one, lean ground beef burgers. We're gonna have asparagus and roasted sweet potatoes. That was a grill getting shook up back there. I do have the volume cranked to four times 11. But it doesn't look like this was a fair, um, I don't think this was fair. It's, it's late, it's 7.30 p.m. Eastern. On a Friday night. So folks are probably out, you know, cooking their hamburgers. It did get spotted. Temperature is falling. I think it's dropping below 70 degrees now. So, all right, initial test. Wow, that mosquito was really eating me up. I thought that was a leaf. Mosquitoes? Yeah. Maybe that cold weather didn't knock them all out. So I'm going to call CQ for about as long as I called CQ earlier. Homebrew antenna zero. And right now as it stands, 31 foot in fed random wire, zero. So if you tuned in last week, on Saturday I released a video of how to build this antenna. It's very similar to an Elecraft uh, AX2, except that this one's trimmed for 15 meters, not trimmed, but designed for 15 meters. And uh, tunes, <laughs> it loads up great. It slings RF somewhere, we don't know where. Um,
So we'll test it another day. Today might have been a bad day to test it with given the uh, conditions just weren't right. When I tested this on the meter at home, of course in the CW range it wasn't that great, but I put it in the center for all modes on the on 20 uh, 20 megahertz. So still nothing. Yeah. So I'm 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 thinking that it's more condition than conditions, not um. distance California oh man that girl smells good <laughs> well and fed random wire three <laughs> Homebrew antenna, none. CQ. I'm gonna swap back because maybe 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 because it's almost the UTC day folks are back 
to hunting, maybe because, you know, most of those folks were getting home from work. I need to make a better one of these so I don't have to take that off, but I used what I had. You should screw one of the little nails because we got some spare ones on our super antenna stuff. Yeah, but yeah, but then I'd have to put a tab on there. Okay, we're swapping antennas. We're four and zero oh here. Uh, zero oh and four. Sorry, wins losses. Zero oh and four. see and that wind is starting to get kind of yeah. chilly what are we looking on power we're good you can get my battery if you need it. did you oh i got batteries every but not for that uh, can you micro usb in did you it? ask him what this was I could probably go left back and look at our messages. Got 22 minutes until the new UTC day. Set this to repeat. Yeah, it definitely has a lot to do, I think, with the height of the antenna. Conditions, which height probably makes more. This is compromised, so it's not gonna make the pileups that a wire's gonna make. I bet if we threw up a long wire and fed half wave, we'd have even different, more different results. <laughs> or a dipole for 15 meters would definitely, like, zonk it out of the water. It doesn't help I had my head in the clouds. Four four nine, New Hampshire. You can hear it's obvious QSB. Hot dog, we got, we're four and one. Not bad. It will pota. <laughs> nice. Hey, I just wanted to see, you know, the Ella Craft antennas are $80. They're, they're much better built. This thing's like glued together with like Q-dope and it's 3D printed, which you can't leave in the window of a vehicle during any day of the week. And I practically threw it together in like an hour. But I had fun thinking about it. I thought about it for many, many days and was like, I'm gonna do this. So it's $4 whip. $4 whip, maybe 30 cents in um, enameled wire. The connector has been in my shed for years. I'd, I'd venture to say almost 10 years. And I didn't have all the pieces to it. All I had was the, uh, the brass tip 
in the connector itself. And I might have had the crimp for it, which I think is all you really need for that. But it wasn't in its original packaging. I, ca I can't remember who, what manufacturer would have made it because it was so old. And a piece of heat shrink, a three M3 screw and two M3 size nuts, which again, scrap bin stuff. I've got a That's it. Bulkhead. I'm going to order some more. Now it's, got, it's wired though. So it's got a BMC bulkhead male with a female connector, I think. Oh, okay. No, maybe a male connector. Uh, the, I've, I've got solder. Boxes, I bought one. I've got a solder uh, kind in my box on Amazon, my shopping cart. So I think really you just got to wait until the fish passes. So. Boy, if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? This is true. Just like hearing them. <laughs> it's an inside joke y'all i might post that picture of that because maybe with the person's call sign omitted because apparently i can't hear anything when i'm doing ham radio can't please them all right God, smelling all that food cooking right there is making me like that blasted hungry Sweater if I'm gonna be sitting outside. What we got? Number two. Wisconsin, if I got his call right. There was somebody so low in there, you even heard it. I heard it. <laughs> there was a P in there somewhere. This is how we do it. Might have been a fluke. Could have been coming from anywhere. Eddie's key's like a speed racer. <laughs> We're taking on fire. I'm just a kid. We're taking on RF. <laughs> We're taking on RF. Like my kid, I'm hungry. So in another video, which I started a whole KX uh, Elecraft KX2 playlist, and uh, so how to build this antenna if you want to try this in in your neck of the woods. I also have my uh, box that I built, my control box, which um, does all kinds of great stuff. But uh, I'm about to put this on repeat. That's the Arduino Nano serial control for the KX2. Um, of course, this is part of this series about the antenna, so it'll be on there too. Um, and I'm, I've started dropping videos on Saturday mornings about 6 a.m. Eastern. Um, 1000 hours Zulu on Saturdays. 
I'm tempted to touch it. You know, I saw Thomas Witherspoon, somebody asked him about RF exposure being so close. Well, I mean, it hurt worse touching the, the RF coming back. That was like grabbing the neutral though. This is like grabbing the hot. It was very underwhelming. No, SWR just went nuts. <laughs> I tell you what would be cool is to look at forward power versus reflected power. I think I need more tools to make better judgments instead of just, does it make a contact? No. So, not counting Eddie's contact, I have one, two, three. Oh, no, we're neck and neck. Was the KJ, K2 EJT on this one or the other one? I think you've gotten three on this one, Robert, besides me. I'll have to check the replay. I think the scorekeeper just lost track. It's so. either three and three or four and two. Cause I can't count Eddie's. The last one was California, I think, on the other one. Okay. I'm pretty sure. If that's the case, then we're neck and neck. I'm, I'm gonna put a scorecard up on the screen, guys. <laughs> For this one. It's also 47 minutes long. I'm sorry about that. Oh well, watch the whole thing. It's entertaining. We talk about steak. We talk about. If they could only smell it, they would want to watch. Oh it. man, if we had smell a vision right now, that would be all right. I guess in this video, because uh, I think tomorrow a video drops, which tomorrow would really be like three weeks ago from when this one drops. Uh, there won't be any aliens. Uh, sucking up children off of a grassy field in front of a, uh, a Native American mound. Too bad. That would be awesome. And deer walking through and and uh, videos of my kid crying in the back seat because I tricked him into thinking we were going to daycare on a Saturday. <laughs> but definitely that video would work right about uh, now. Colin CQ beat got me like picking at the grass. Just staring at the grass. <laughs> Somebody's cooking done set off the smoke alarm in the camper. <laughs> Somebody's celebrating St. Patty's Day too hard. <laughs> spot even look like right now five minutes ago kz9v last heard seven seconds ago at k1 tango 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 say probably in the Connecticut area I think that's where the ones are that's where the unhappy camper was last uh, uh, Tuesday night yeah, they're always so well, you know except for the parking lot dude that gives us the zip code and he, he's up there in that general area <laughs> that's where the police man lives too I think up in that area oh the potapopo so yeah, okay. there's bad apples everywhere you go to Tennessee you got the folks that are free banding on 80 meters with call signs <laughs> of folks <laughs> passed away <laughs> it is what it is but hey we're the fun ones you know 
I guess we're the kids. There, you know, no kids, no lids, no space cadets. Oh my gosh, look at this, guys. We got, I'm gonna eat a little piece of Oliver's hamburger because holy cow, that looks good. Oh, it does. Woo, woo! Holy. What was that guy's name, Rowan? Woo-hoo! Oh, that was a cake. Cake. I'll look them up. All right. Food's ready, so I'm going cube our team. I may got to get food on my radio. I mean, it made a few contacts, so I'll try it during the day and see what happens. I mean, is there any other fine tuning to do, or is it basically it is what it is, and you could only make it uh, more at rigid? this at this point? That is what it is. But no, I can I can always make improvements. Um, I could do different windings, uh, different numbers of windings to. To bring the SWR down, I could have used a mode that was probably more popular. You um, mean as in voice? As in voice. Oh. Uh, that that could make that could make a difference, but that's not always you though. Yep. There's 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 too much stuff, and I'm trying to put all this stuff in my bag. I like how we have a snack bag and a rig expert together. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Three dollars worth of snacks and five hundred dollars worth of equipment in the same Walmart set. <laughs> Let's show them. Let's show them. <laughs> so I did bring some snacks and a Mountain Dew. Off the table. But there is a rig expert in here, the AA one seventy, um, for testing antennas. And I was gonna test it on video, but I'm I'm hungry. Dinner's ready. Um, so there is that. Got no, that no, no, we don't want to lose it. Ooh, good save. I almost fumbled it. We're not quite sure what this is, PP man. So uh, we'll find out. Um, ooh, look at that, a spotlight. Oh my gosh, that hamburger was good, dude. Get on this is legit. I know. I kind of want to see what my printer would do at home if I. If I tried to print the same design and see if it works. I'm all the time having to sandpaper and Dremel stuff. All right, I do not have a place for this in my bag yet. Looks like that will fit. That little guy? Yeah, that's good for them short runs when you got a... Or as Charlie Golf Charlie would say, that's good for them big jobs. <laughs> oh, whiskey zero, Charlie Gop Charlie. Kappa! All right, we'll put that in there. We'll put my pocket knife back where it goes. I need to grease that thing up, poor thing. Uh, Could have marked myself QRT. Get it here, folks. Oh, I just got respotted. Got respot. Okay, there we go. Cordy. Cordy, cordy, cordy. There's our battery. I mean, clean up with these things is fairly easy. Um, this would have been an interesting thing if I had the other end that just plugs into the radio. Um, the radio has a little bitty banana plug port on the side. For counter ports? Yeah. Really cool. But Elecraft wants ten dollars for them. Shame on Elecraft. I mean, they, they know what they got. It's a free market. Yeah. I'm gonna find another way to get that made cheaper too. I mean, I, I'm just sitting here making all kinds of cool projects for me to play with. Um, this one was really fun. There's your sack, bro. Thank you. <sighs> Oh, 
I don't want that to get dirty, buddy. There we go. All right, so there's that. I'll just stuff that back in my bag. I mean, cleanup's pretty easy with this kit. Yours, uh, Eddie's is who I'm talking about. With his in-fed random wire, it's it's pretty quick to clean up too, though. Oh, uh, the hardest part is winding up the throw rope. Yep. Did, did I tell you I cut mine? I we we had like 160 feet of um, arborist line. I took mine and cut it in half. So it still takes a while to wind up 80 feet, but um, it works. It works. I don't know what all's left here to clean up. I think that's it. Put the battery in the container where it goes. I need to export my logs just in case. So I'll just save it to files because we may come back out and play later. Boop. Or we might not. The weather could get different. It sure could. And it, for a few hours. <laughs> we were going to come camping, but uh, it would help if I would actually zip that bag up. Alrighty. Well, I just hit the noise reduction on my camera. Yeah, we're coming in for dinner. I'm packing her up. All right, guys. Well, this is W1RCP. If you watch this whole video, um, you win the prize. Um, One million points. And uh, as Drew Carey says, it's the game where the points don't matter. Uh, welcome to Whose Line Is It Anyway? The show where everything's right. made up and the points don't matter. W1RCP yep. out. Good night. GoPro, stop capture.